Hi everyone, welcome to week 20 of the Wild Woman Yoga series. I'm Lexi and our theme for class is homing. So this is going to be a meditation, um, a little bit shorter than the other classes that we've done and uh, no movement. So wear whatever feels comfortable. You can keep your pajamas on if you want. You can do this practice anywhere that you can lay down and just have quiet space. That could be in your car, um, in your bed, on your yoga mat, wherever feels most comfortable and accessible for you today. So get yourself prepared and I will meet you back here. So we're going to jump right in um, and I invite you to find a comfortable position on your back. Whatever that looks like for you, I'll be cueing um, based on a position on your back on the floor, but if you are sitting in a chair, feel free to modify as needed. So finding your way onto your back. Allowing the legs to come about mats with distance apart, making room for the thighs and hips to just relax. Allowing your hands to come a little ways away from the body. Maybe walking the shoulder blades underneath your body so that the Shoulders can relax down, sink into the mat. If you'd like, you can bring a pillow underneath your head. You can cover yourself with a blanket, anything that you need to be completely comfortable. Feel free to make adjustments to your clothing so that Throughout practice, there can be minimal movement. And once you think you've found that comfortable position, maybe adjust one more time so that you're just 10% more comfortable. From here, we'll do a little progressive muscle relaxation. If you've been moving around throughout your day, you might have some tension and muscle activity built up already. So it's good to meet yourself where you are. And if that is intention, then we'll start in tension and work our way to relaxation. So beginning with your right leg, tensing all of the muscles in your right leg all the way from the hip socket to the toes. Tensing every muscle that you can, maybe scrunching up your toes, engaging the thighs and the calf muscle, and even lifting the leg up off the ground a few inches, stretching it from hip to toe and on an exhale, allowing it to come down, release, and rock your leg from side to side gently. We'll do the same with the left leg, engaging all of the muscles in your left leg, and in complete tension there, Stretching it long from hip to toes and lifting it a few inches off the ground. Engaging all the muscles there and on an exhale, releasing down. Rocking the leg from side to side. Engaging your right arm. 
all the muscles in your right arm from shoulder to fingers, taking a fist with your right hand, lifting the right arm up off the ground, stretching long in the right arm, tensing there, and then on an exhale, releasing and rocking the arm from side to side. Moving to your left arm, tensing all the muscles in your left arm, making a fist with your left hand, lifting the left arm up off the ground and stretching from shoulder to fist, tensing all of your muscles tight as you can, and then releasing onto the ground, rocking your hand from side to side, rocking the arm. Allowing the fingers to be relaxed. Moving to your face. Tightening all the muscles in your face, maybe scrunching up your face, furring your brows, pursing your lips. Scrunching up your face as tight as you can. And releasing. Allowing the forehead to be soft, the jaw to be soft. I'm taking a quick scan of the body to identify any lingering tension in the shoulders hips, feet, and seeing if you can take a deep inhale. As you exhale, just let it go. Continue to breathe deeply into the lowest part of your belly. Allowing the breath to go deep into the belly before filling up the chest, all the way up to the collarbones, and exhaling completely. Working to just arrive here in your entirety to this moment. Allow there to be some small space between the lips and your top and bottom teeth. Maybe rock the head from side to side. Very gently, very small movement. Tuck the chin in a small movement. Just finding the most comfortable position for your head. And if your eyes are not already closed, I invite you to close them or soften your gaze. Let's take just a few minutes to just breathe. And inhale, filling up your belly, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, pushing your navel towards your spine. 
take a few breaths just like that. Thoughts begin to enter your mind or ask for your attention. You can acknowledge them. And then bring your awareness back to the breath. No need to push them away. Just redirecting focus. And at this time, I invite you to bring to mind our theme for this practice, calming. coming home to yourself. You make an infinite number of connections outside of ourselves. To people we love teachers we respect, communities that we believe in. But there is no greater wisdom than what can be found in your own heart. There is no greater compass than this body, your body. Because you are the only one that knows how to navigate the life you've been given. And as much as we receive information and sometimes guidance lovingly given to us by others and sometimes sought out from others, the seat of discernment lies within you. And you can take all of that information and check it against your own knowing. Does this feel right for me?
not in your head. but in your body. You can bring to mind somebody who you love and trust and who you know has your best interest at heart. or even if it's a pet, any being, alive or dead, whose love felt complete and true for you. And when you take them in your mind, Notice the reaction of your body. Notice what a yes feels like to you. What safety and comfort feels like for you. from your toes all the way up to the top of your head. What are the sensations of yes? How does your unique, incredible body communicate yes to you? You can stay with this feeling if you'd like. Or if you would like to experience an opposite, you can bring to mind a situation, person, opportunity, place. that did not feel in alignment for you. It doesn't have to be something that elicits strong negative reaction. It doesn't have to come with extreme judgment. Just something that was not right for you. Can bring that thing to mind. And notice the reaction of your body to that. What does no feel like? How does it feel in your stomach, in your chest, even in your arms and legs?
And you might imagine at this point, placing that no situation, person, thing in your right hand. Just visualizing as if it could be encased in a glass ball. Just placing that in your right hand. And placing your yes person, situation, being in your left hand. Again, encased in a glass ball, just having that image there. And allowing both of those experiences to exist on opposite sides of your body. And just noticing anything that comes up for you when you hold both. Can release that visualization, that experience. Just release it from your mind. And as you're ready, bringing both hands to rest on your belly. Either one on top of the other or one next to the other. Just feeling the rise and fall of your breathing. Your body is constantly communicating with you. It alerts you of hunger, thirst. Exhaustion. Many of us can recognize those signals clearly.
but what might be more subtle is that your body also knows what is good for you. It alerts you of desire. In situations that are dangerous or safe. This is a wisdom that is inherent in you. Cultivated over generations and generations and generations. And when we come back to ourselves and we trust what arises, we honor this given wisdom. It is a knowing beyond teachers, beyond tools, beyond anything that needs to be bought or consumed. It's all right here, accessible to you at any time. And in as much as we have spent time in self-inquiry and self-exploration and action and practice. There is no greater or more worthy path than the simple act of sitting and being with yourself. Coming back to the expansive experience of being a human and being in this wild, incredible, powerful body given to you by nature. And composed of all the same material as the natural world around you. You can remain here in this position if it serves you, or if you'd like, you can release your hands from your abdomen, wiggle the fingers and toes, and gently come onto one side of the body. Before Pressing up to a seat. And just allow the eyes to remain closed or soften your gaze. 
placing the palms face down on your knees. Taking a deep breath in and exhaling completely. Then if it feels right, maybe bringing the palms together at your heart center. You have everything you need. There is no one and no thing that can give you anything more. The things of this world, things from others are wonderful. They can bring so much joy to us, but it is only an amplification of what is already inside you. May you be free, may you follow your wild heart and desire. May you feel safe in your body. Thank you so, 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 so much for sharing any portion of this series that you have. Be well, all my love to you.